Well, good morning everyone. I'm starting this devotion again in the garden. It's such a beautiful place and it reminds me of the responsibility and the privilege of living in such a beautiful house which has been built for ministers of the church all those years ago. A responsibility and a privilege it is. And I have a link today with a beautiful verse from the Bible, from John's Gospel again. This is in chapter 3. And Jesus says, the Father loves the Son and has placed everything into his hands. And when the Father placed everything into the hands of Jesus, again that was a, a privilege and a responsibility, both. And for us too, our, our relationships, our friendships, our families um, and others. It's a, a privilege, isn't it, to have these people as our friends and yet also a responsibility to them to keep on showing love and friendship to them as well. Similarly, for people who have a leadership role, if you're a leader of a nation, what a privilege it is, but also what a responsibility. I would hate to have that responsibility right now in our current situation. Jesus says, the Father loves the Son and has placed everything into his hands. And we can imagine now the angels perhaps watching on as Jesus comes down to the earth and they're thinking to themselves, I wonder how the Son of God will cope with that immense privilege and yet the immense responsibility as well. Well, the relationship between Jesus and his Father, we see all through the Gospels based on love and trust and obedience. We see Jesus' complete integrity, wonderful. Every single choice that he made was a good choice. Every moment of every day, he was always good and holy. And even when it came to that ultimate choice at the cross, at, in the Garden of Gethsemane and at the cross, will he go through with the Father's will? Yes, he does. He goes through with it because he loves the Father and because he loves us too. And he does what is right, which is marvellous for us to know. And he could have called on legions of angels to come and get him off the cross, but he chose not to do that, but to stay there for our sake. The Father loves the Son and has given everything into his hands. And when Jesus is raised from the dead, having trusted the Father through the cross, the marks of the nails are still in his hands and the disciples are able to see them and feel them and know them. And when it says that the Father has put everything into the hands of Jesus, they are nail-scarred hands. When we think of our lives and all that we want to place into Jesus' hands, we remember that his hands are scarred with the nails, that he understands, that he loves us, and that his sacrifice on the cross has brought us peace and joy. I would like to sing a couple of verses from a hymn just now, I'm going to go over to the piano and just sing these two verses from a hymn. It's the hymn, Crown Him with Many Crowns. And I'm going to sing the middle, one of the middle verses and then the last verse. bless you today with his love, his joy and his peace.